Hi, my name is Gala. I am Looker Studio expert and the founder of Daily Report. Today's video will be short, I hope so, and we will talk about buttons. If you go to Edit Control, you can find button here. It's kind of a new feature from May 2023. Let's see what do we have here. We have navigation, report action, and filters. And we can change text here. Uh, first option, navigation. We have two options, static link and dynamic link. Static link, uh, we can insert link and we have several options. Like first, we can do link for any page of our dashboard or can simply add your custom link. For example, I want to lend people to my website and open this link in a new tab. Okay. Uh, and I want to make this button green one with white text to make it more as a button and move it here if we go to the view mode and click to the button we will go to my website perfect um, next thing uh, that we have here is a uh, dynamic link for this, we need to have URL field in our data source. Actually, I didn't get it for now. How, how does it work properly? How to work with this properly? So let's keep it for now. If you know, you can send me a comment and explain how this work. Like, I will spend some time for that later and investigate it. Uh, but uh, we have other actions that could be interesting as well for us. Second action, it's report action. Um, and here we have several options. We can use this button to invite people to get report link, download reports, and reset filters. For example, invite people. Nice. Uh, change. And let's do several options. Here, let's create several buttons. Uh, second one could be download, get report link, get report link. You can type something different, of course. Uh, it's nice that you have flexibility. And next one will be download report. The change it, download report, get report link, invite people. Okay, uh, last one was reset filters. We don't have filters on this page, so we will not use it. Uh, okay, this button lead us to my website. If we click to invite people, we have this window. But why I don't use it? Because if you click to this triangle you can see in white people easy so i'm not sure like as a user maybe it's it's nice to have this button but for me for, for me personally i already used to have this white people button and i don't need special element for that get report link same same stuff if we click to get report link uh we have we can copy link and uh, link your current report here blah, blah. Again, I'm not sure why do I need this because I have this get report link button here. But why not? For some reason, for some cases, maybe it will be nice. Download reports, same stuff. We can we, when we download as a dashboard as a PDF, we can load all pages, all select pages, or like use some additional options, mm, even password protect. This is nice. Okay, I will not download it. Uh, so this is why I don't use this button. I saw it, I checked them, but okay, it's nice. But 
for me. For me personally, I don't find nice way to use it. Let me know if you did. It will be nice to hear real cases about these buttons. And we didn't check as, uh, the last options. Uh, last options is vertical top, distribute horizontally, uh, filter. And here we add, uh, I cannot, okay. I cannot add filter here because for this filter we need boolean like yes no true false uh, field that G4 doesn't have this conversion is conversion event should be this kind of field but it is not it is not boolean so we need boolean type of field to make this filter this button work unfortunately j4 doesn't have it so maybe i will find some example for that and can show you but basically it's only for boolean so it's really restricted and doesn't fit for many cases so that is it about buttons uh, i think navigation button it's good and i think this makes sense to use these three options I don't need and this boolean filter kind of so some cases maybe but i don't find this super useful actually sorry <laughs> this video sounds a bit disappointed maybe <laughs> but it is a new feature and i would like to observe it and give my opinion about that hope you like this video please let me know how do you use buttons if you start to use it if you have example of this uh, boolean filter it will be really nice to hear and try to use it as well and if you want to know more about Flutter studio you can find my online course link will be below this video and during the course we create Flutter studio dashboard based on g4 uh, marketing dashboard so marketing department so it's really useful and you can use it as a portfolio I think that is it for today. Yeah. Go down. Bye.